Lunarosa Ocean, the new fragrance by Prada. Hello everyone, Ozzy here again today. Welcome back to The Opulent Life. Today we are going to be doing a review of another perfume. This time it's going to be Prada Lunarosa Ocean. This perfume has been out for quite some time. Uh, it was launched in 2021 uh, and it has been a pretty remarkable success actually. And... Uh, so today i have bought this from macy's to review for you guys and we're gonna go through pricing we're gonna go through the notes we're gonna go through my personal impressions what i feel about it and we're also gonna go through the packaging so without any delay let's get right into it so here we have this prada, prada luna rosa ocean in eau de toilette version as a 3.3 fluid ounce bottle or 100 mils so this cost me around $140 at Macy's. Now you can get this uh, from Joma Shop and aftermarket uh, gray marketers uh, for much less. So at Joma Shop right now, for example, you can get this for $81.99 for the 3.3 ounce version. You can get it in the $60 range for the 1.6 ounce version. But at Macy's, everything is gonna be higher. So at any department store, Whenever you buy perfumes like this, they're gonna be higher, but the advantage is you get a fresher batch and you get it immediately. With the others, you get an older batch. You may have to wait a little bit. You may have to pay shipping. So that is also something to take into account. Now, I wanted to do this immediately, so I got this. And uh, so that's why I had to spend a little bit extra. But if you can uh, wait and if you can check the batch code, uh, then, it may be worthwhile to actually wait and buy it from the gray market side because this perfume was launched in 2021 so even if you get a batch that is older right now it's 2024 so it won't be more than three years older right so that's still pretty fresh now problem comes when you buy a perfume that has been in production for many many years like let's say 10 15 years and then you buy from gray market you may get it at a steep discount from the discounters but you might end up getting a batch that is like seven eight nine years old at that by that time the perfume even though it's original has lost its freshness and its shelf life is way past expiration so that is a risk when you buy from discounters from a department store you, I have never come across a situation where the batch code told me that it was older than max, let's say seven, eight months. So always do che do the check cosmetic check, which I've mentioned about before, see the batch code. If you buy something from the mark print store and it is, uh, the batch code is older than a year, I would say just return it and get a different one because that's not really supposed to be happening. So at Sephora, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, all these other uh, department stores, what you're really paying for is a fresher batch in my opinion so go for that now coming back to this so right now it's in its original packaging uh let's go through it really quickly before I take, actually i'll take off the plastic first so we can go through this really uh easily for the because there's a lot of reflection coming on this cellophane wrap all right so here we go let's take it off also a quick mention while i'm unwrapping this is that on amazon you can actually get it for uh around 77 dollars last time i checked so i will be leaving the link in the description below where you can go ahead and use that link to purchase this if you would like to that is also a gray market um option that you may want to explore so and that is going to be significantly less than what i paid for uh 77 versus 150 that is a 
big, big margin. So I would recommend ordering from Amazon, checking the batch code. If it's within the last year or two, you're pretty good. And uh, I would say then go for that option instead of buying from department store if you can wait a couple of days. Anyway, so this is the pack. I removed the cellophane wrap now. So that's all gone. So looking at this box here, just quickly describing it, it is obviously because of it being called Ocean, it has tones of blue on it. You have the uh, typical Prada signature in a vertical fashion on a background of red with the white lettering, which is their classic. And then you have this gradient color of the deep blue ocean all the way coming down, getting darker as you go towards the bottom, more lighter towards the top. And then you have again navy blue uh at the at the very bottom on this part where it says lunarosa lunarosa is in a little bit lighter text along with the eau de toilette and the 100 mil signature on the sides you have the same gradient you have a qr code same here nothing different you just have product.com written on the back you have all the ingredients the barcode and made in france you have the addresses of the distributors and this icon over here it tells you that once you open the perfume it is good for 24 months for its best freshness and it is obviously flammable so you have it's safe legal compliant you have all the precautions listed as well as the ingredients so that's all good top you just have a red stripe for the prada that continues from the front at the bottom, again, you just have some markings regarding recycling and disposal advisories. And this is the batch code that you're gonna enter in checkcosmetic.com to see what the batch code is. Let's check this one right now. All right, so I ran a quick check. Now on checkcosmetic.net, it was not looking this up. Sometimes checkcosmetic.net, although it's a pretty good site, is not able to find all the batch codes. So another alternative that I use is checkfresh.com. So on checkfresh.com, this is coming out to be a production date of June, 2023, which means that right now in March, 2024, it is nine months from the production date, which is very, very reasonable. I actually got this, uh, I am opening this right now, but I actually purchased this back in December. So at the time of purchase, this means that it was only six months uh, from at the department store. And that is really fresh. So that is one of the advantages of buying from a department store directly you get a fresher batch all right let's open this up now so you have your typical rectangular box oh it's like it says something in here instructions on how to use it how to take off the cap and then remove the safety clip before use all right let's take this out So this is the bottle, dark navy blue tones, as you can see, the bottle is nice. It has this aquatic dark blue feel to it. It's all glass. You have the Prada signature logo on the black background, just like you saw on the front of the box. So that matches it. Then you have Ocean Luna Rosa written very discreetly at the bottom you guys can see this there's a lot of reflection but if you are able to see it you'll see all the dark blue tones of this bottle and glass very nicely put together at the bottom this is more black you have the batch code here again to confirm if the batch code here does not match the batch code on the box you have a problem that is a counterfeit perfume then so this is made in france as we saw before 3.3 ounce great so this is the cap and it actually says reposition when carrying. So I think they had some issues with this. So that's why they have this instruction on. So take this off and then this is the top. It's a direct atomizer. So you don't have to take off any cap besides this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually keep it on like that. It doesn't look very nice, but yeah, I think it's for if you're traveling with it, then you keep this. So yeah, so that's it. Let's let's give it a shot. All right, let it settle down a little bit. So as expected, I'm getting a lot of oceanic, aquatic notes from it. 
it's a fresh scent definitely designed for a summer spring and i'm getting a lot of um, a lot of radiance from my skin it is it is really nice it's very pleasant it's nothing groundbreaking new nothing you haven't smelled before but it is a great fresh aquatic scent and let's get into the details a little bit okay so this is definitely a very aromatic and musky fragrance uh, very powdery you got some notes of lavender in here you've got some citrus fresh spices of course going with the oceanic ozonic notes it's it's a little there's a little bit of earthiness and woodiness right at the base which you can't tell immediately but if you let it settle down for a little bit then it starts to come through there's some very good projection of this and that is something that you'd be looking for so what's interesting here that i'm looking at is it starts off as an aquatic fresh scent but as it as time follows you get more and more earthy lavender woody notes in it so it evolves very nicely and i'm liking the evolution so you can technically wear this as a casual scent and as a semi-formal scent as well so i would recommend this not just for daytime but even also evening wear as well now of course this is being an audio toilet don't expect it to last a whole day it is a very projecting fragrance so it will disappear in about two to four hours four hours max depending on your skin type and two hours at the minimum and that's pretty typical of eau de toilettes unless you have a very high concentration or in that case it would just turn into an eau de parfum so i uh, I, I think the scent is really nice uh, as long as you uh know what you're getting and what you're expecting if you get into the technicalities officially the top notes are bergamot pink pepper and artemisia I can definitely sense that in the opening burst and I can see why people will flock towards this because the opening is just so nice that you will definitely uh, find this very captivating and you will want to purchase it right from the get-go. As you go forward, the middle notes kind of hard to uh, determine if you're not familiar with fragrances, but it does have iris and lavender in it. You can definitely tell the iris and lavender here for sure. There's some suede uh yeah i can definitely sense that too now it says sage and saffron i'm not so sure about that but there may be some hints in there that my nose is not picking up now base definitely has some musk some vetiver some patchouli those are definitely there it does mention caramel um not so sure i can detect it but maybe i've only had this on for about a couple of minutes maybe after 30 minutes or 45 minutes i might be able to determine those tones uh, going into it so yeah now the perfumers behind this scent are Anne Filippo and Carlos Benign so those are the creators of this fragrance it's a co-production for the two perfumers and I think it has worked out pretty well I actually like the design of the bottle it's very easy no nonsense gives you the classy uh, look of Prada as well and it stays uh, comfortable to use although if you have shorter hands, it may be a little bit difficult to keep your finger on the atomizer. So that may be one disadvantage perhaps, but the atomizer overall is pretty good. As you can see, it's got good range and a nice flow. So that is also very important. If you are, if you have a bad atomizer, it can ruin a perfume completely. This one has a good one. So that's kudos to them. I'm also getting some sweet and spicy notes as it's evolving going more towards the woodiness. I absolutely love the evolution. As it's evolving, I can smell it go, come, go, going from aquatic tones to a sweet undertone and then towards more wooden, woody and earthy tones. And I'm loving the evolution of this. For an eau de toilet, that is really impressive work by the perfumers. So I think this was a totally worth it buy for me. And for, on a personal level, I would rate this as a nine out of 10. I'm knocking one point off because originality maybe, because this is something that I, the components are, are not, it's not something super original. I have definitely smelled something similar before. So it's not something that's groundbreakingly new. It's like your typical aquatic scent with, some, with, a, with a nice twist to it. Uh, but even then, so the twist and how it's evolving, what it's evolving into is also something that I'm familiar with. What it's evolving from is something I'm familiar with. 
but what sets this one apart is the evolution from the aquatic to the woodiness with the sweet transition. So that's why I'm rating it actually nine out of 10, but also because none of these, all those three components are something that I've smelled before in other perfumes. So it's not super original and that's why it takes the point off. Otherwise it's pretty good. Now time will tell how this performs in terms of sillage and uh, uh, radiance and projection. Now, right now I'm getting very good, very, very good project projection, but it's an only toilet, so eventually it's gonna die down. It might eventually start sitting closer to the skin. So that's also another uh, disadvantage. If this was an EDP, I might've given it a 9.5 because then it would last longer, something like this. I would want it to last a little bit longer, maybe for six hours or seven hours, but then you get into EDP territory. So that's another pet peeve. If it was EDP, I would have automatically given 0.5 more, still take off the 0.5 for uh, originality. But overall, this is a very solid buy. I do recommend it. I think that you definitely should have this going into the summer and spring season. Uh, this would be a nice, nice alternative to the overused Sauvage. Now people use this as a Sauvage alternative. I don't think this is a Sauvage alternative, I think. Well, this is a Sauvage alternative, but it's not the same as a Sauvage. Sauvage is completely different. Uh, I think that Sauvage is way more metallic. This one is, is, is not as metallic for sure. And this is something different from that. So it's, it's nice to have this in one of your rotations. I don't think this would outright beat Sauvage, but it is a nice alternative if you bought Sauvage three or four times over already and you want something different, but in the same vein, maybe this is fine, but it is not the same as a Sauvage. Let me make that clear. Anyways, guys, hope you like this review. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye-bye. Be sure to subscribe and like our channel and use the link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this from our Amazon uh, link and that will help support the channel. Also, please look at the other videos. Do subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming your way. Ozzy out. Welcome. Take care.